Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to export tubes for laser cutting in Fusion 360. The best way I found to do this is to model the tube as a sheet metal part, which for that we'll need to define a few sheet metal rules. So going into the sheet metal tab and choosing sheet metal rules, we can create a new definition. In my case, I have a tube with a wall thickness of 1 16th of an inch, and then for the k-factor, you'll want to set this as 1. In effect, what this does is it tells Fusion that when exporting, you'll use the outside geometry of the tube. With that set, I can start the design. I'll create a new component and set it as a sheet metal part. Make sure you select the sheet metal rule that you just made. I'm going to be using a 1.5 by 1.5 inch steel tube. If you use a different size, you'll just need to model that. Pay close attention to the fillet radius. Um, this is going to have to match what's in the Fab Creator software, so consult there for precise dimensions. In my case, it's a 0.07 inch radius, so I'll model that and then extrude it to size, and I can add some geometry that I want to cut on the tube. Now you'll want to make a small incision down the middle of the tube, which for that I'll just create a sketch, and then I'll make it a rectangle that's 1,000th of an inch wide. Then I can go into extrude and extrude it through the wall thickness. And so now we can basically define this piece as if it were a sheet metal part, which can be unfolded and then exported into the software. I can go to convert to sheet metal, and then select the outside surface, and then finally I can say create flat pattern. Selecting the outside surface, you'll see this generates a flat pattern, which I can now export as a DXF to move into Fab Creator. Now in Fab Creator, I can import it like it's any other part. Going into properties, you'll want to select tube and then choose the parameter that matches the tube you're going to cut. You'll notice it shows a flat geometry, much like what we generated in Fusion, uh, but in my case it's rotated 90 degrees, so I'll have to go into Edit and rotate the shape back. If you did everything right, you should see that the top and bottom turn orange, indicating it recognized the geometry, and the white lines align closely to the red lines of your part. I can also confirm that in 3D everything is aligned properly. Finally, the last step is to turn all the red and gray lines into reference lines so they don't get cut. And with that, you can export your parts and have them sent to the FabLite. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching.